Slaughterhouse. Yes, sir. And that was big news, that was big hype. How did that come about? Uh, Joe Biden was actually working on his Halfway House mixtape. And um, he reached out to Crooked, myself, and Royce, and uh, me and Bless at the time, to do, to do a record, to get on his, um, you know, his mixtape. Right. We did the record, and he decided to leave the record from his mixtape. And the internet straight up formed the group. Yeah. Like it was just so much buzz and hype surrounding that one song. And the excitement just made us all kind of just be like, yo, what up? Wanna do a little little album or something? Uh, it was no big business plan. We didn't we didn't have a conference call and map this out. It was just straight fans that formed the group. So we decided to go ahead and do the project. We had our man just sit down and work something out. And we formed a group. We tried to, you know, when it was time to come up with a name, I was just sort of like, yo, the first joint we ever did was called Slaughterhouse. Right. That sounds cool. Now, now that record was, the record came out in 2009 or 2008? That was 2009. 2009. That record was one of the most lyrical records. I mean, that thank came you. Out thank you. In, in 09. One of the most me. lyrical. Right. And in a long time. In a, in a, long, in a long time. Now now you got it's you, it's Joe Buttons, mm -hmm. it's uh, Crooked Eye, and it's um Royce of Five Nine. Yes, sir. Four lyrical beasts. Thank you. How was the competition amongst y'all? It's very, very And you and you're the baby of the group. You you were the baby of the group, right? Uh yeah. Right. And, and career wise. Yeah, career wise. Yeah. 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 Um I gotta also say the thing I found about Slaughterhouse was like all these dudes, super nice. Right. But like the uglier the dude, <laughs> the nicer. <laughs> so you know, Jail is my boy right. for real. Right. But him and Crooked is kind of neck and neck. <laughs> I'm looking like I'm looking like people who got beat with a brick. <laughs> and they, and they were absolute murders. Right, right, right. Oh, absolute <laughs> murders. So I mean, you know. <laughs> You now, know. now, what you did though, now y'all know. What you it? did, which was almost kind of impossible, is, and this is nothing against any of your, 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 your team members, but you stood out without overshadowing everybody, but you did stand out on the album. Thank you, man. Um, was there competition like when y'all were going to the nah. and you would hear Roy spit some greasy shit? Was I mean, like, oh, hell no. I mean, if you play basketball with bums, you're going to be a bum. You play basketball with dudes who will cross you over and take you to the rack and dunk on you, you better start playing D. So, you know, the level was like, the ball, the, 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 the ball was up. Was up. Yeah. And you know, and, you know, Joe, and Joe's just crazy. I mean, yeah. he's crazy in real life, I would imagine. <laughs> and because he's crazy in real life, he's crazy in, in, in the booth. The great ones rise to the occasion. Right. And I, I had to, you know, step outside and remember that I got to bring Joe Ortiz to this booth. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you I gotta, gotta bring, bring me. You gotta bring Brooklyn to the group. Somewhat. But somewhat. You, you see what I'm saying? You see all the legacies. Because you got This man has to uphold. <laughs> <laughs> like, this man goes into the booth, they like, okay, boom. You know, I, I'm taking care of Mom Duke. Brooklyn, I'm holding y'all down. You know, everybody, you know, in Puerto the Rico. Yeah. Puerto Rico, everybody speaking Spanish. And you got four you that, got, that got, wants to come up, I'm holding y'all down. And you got Jersey on the record. You got yeah. Detroit on the record, and you yeah. got LA on the record. Right. So you got to you got to bring. I'm our, yeah, our, I'm our representative. Exactly. And I represent it. Right. Like they did. Right. Exactly. So the record comes out, um, and it's making a big buzz, and then and then the big buzz is, oh, Slaughterhouse is going to Eminem. Right. Um, Slaughterhouse now, is going to Shady, and I'll tell you, when I heard that noise, I was like, that's the best move because in this day and age. Super lyrical acts don't necessarily thrive in the business right. unless they're part of a powerhouse team. Right. And so it made a lot of sense for you to go for 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 for, for slaughterhouse to right. go to Shady. Yeah, that was a big that was a that was a big uh, phone call for right. that man showing interest in the, in the group. We was we were really excited about that one. It was like you said, it was such a fit. Because it's, it's someone who gets it. Eminem gets it. Right. He's an artist first. And he went through that whole right. lyricist lounge. Right. And, yeah, he did and, and then him being white. Right. And then cats looking at him as being an anomaly because you're white and you're a little too extra lyrical. Right. He overcame. Yo. Right. Exactly. He overcame and he gets it. That's an understatement. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> um, he might, he might be the goat. Yeah, you know, I mean, you still gonna argue about that. Me and you still gonna argue about What's that. that? What's about, that? Like, about Eminem being the greatest of all time. Your man right here, Republican. Dallas is gonna ride on that. You know, <laughs> I, 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 can't, I can't, I can't give that to you. Well, what, I, what I like to say is, I, I mean, I like to be the devil's advocate. Um, he's a Republican. I can't, you know, he's a registered Republican. I didn't know that. I'm not even joking. I mean, this is no shots. Your man is a registered Republican. Hey, why look at that? John McCain. If no one else in the room is going to raise the flag and raise that issue, is, is he the greatest of all time? I, no one is. But I will I'll raise the flag for dude because I think you have to. You have to in rap. You have to for somebody that overcame what shouldn't have happened. In, a, in another year or two, I, I would love to say that for you. With more, with more material release, right? You know, with Thank continuing you. to develop your content, and, and the beauty of the greatest of all time is, if you asked me this shit ten years ago, I was firmly staying uh, on KRS One uh, uh, ticket, right? With Rakim, but you know, thankfully, you know, more people have, you know, Jay Z has added more material to his catalog, Eminem to his catalog, Nas to so his catalog. The way of Fort Loco was pouring out of. <laughs> Yeah. 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 I feel like I'm sweating milk right now. Yeah, listen, 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 list